Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn class 8, chapter 2, linear equations in one variable, exercise 2.5, 7 sum onwards. See now question number 7. Simplify and solve the following linear equations. 3 into t minus 3, that equals to 5 into 2t plus 1. That implies, now let us multiply 3 into t, 3t minus 3 into 3, 9. That equals to 5 into 2t, that is 10t plus 5 into 1, 5. See now 3t plus 10t on transposing it is minus 10t. That equals to minus 9 on transposing it becomes plus 9 and write on this plus 5. That implies 3t minus 10t that is minus 70 that equals to 9 plus 5 is 14. Here minus 7 is going to multiply on transposing it becomes divided by. So t equals to minus 14 by 7. 7 1s are 7, 7 2s are 14. Here minus is there, this minus will be applied for 2. Therefore t equals to minus 2. See now question number 8. 15 into y minus 4. Minus 2 into y minus 9 plus 5 into y plus 6 that equals to 0. That implies 15 into y, 15y minus 15 into 4, 60. Minus 2 into y, minus 2y, minus into minus plus 2 nines are 18. Plus 5 into y, 5y plus 5 into 6, 30 that equals to 0. That implies let us take y term separately and numeric term separately. 15y minus 2y plus 5y plus minus 60 plus 18 plus 30 that equals to 0. 15y plus 5y 20y minus 2y plus minus 60 plus 18 plus 30 that is 48 that equals to 0. 20y minus 2y that is 18y minus minus 60 plus 40 that is minus 12. So we have written here minus 12. That equals to 0. That implies 18y equals to minus 12 on transposing it is plus 12. Next we have to find y value. So y equals to 12 by 18. Here 18 is multiplying on transposing it is divided by. Now y equals to 12 by 18. 6 tables 6 twos are 12. 6 threes are 18. So y value equals to 2 by 3. Therefore y equals to 2 by 3. See now question number 9, 3 into 5z minus 7 minus 2 into 9z minus 11 that equals to 4 into 8z minus 13 minus 17. That implies 3 into 5z that is 15z minus 3 into 7, 21 minus 2 into 9z that is minus 18z minus into minus plus 2 11s are 22. That equals to 4 into 8z that is 32z minus 4 13s are 52 minus 17. That implies 15z minus 18z. Here plus 32z on transposing it is minus 32z. That equals to minus 21 on transposing it is plus 21. Plus 22 on transposing it is minus 22. Here this minus 17 and minus 52. That implies 15z minus 18z minus 32z that is minus 50z that equals to 21 minus 22 that is minus 1. Write on this minus 17 and minus 52. That implies 15z minus 50z that is minus 35z that equals to minus 1 minus 17 that is minus 18. Minus 18 minus 52 that is minus 70. Here minus and minus both were cancelled. Now z equals to 70 by 35. 35 ones are 35, 35 two are 70. Therefore z equals to 2. See now question number 10. 0 0.25 into 4f minus 3 that equals to 0 0.05 into 10f minus 9. That implies 0 0.25 into 4f that is 1.00f that means forget about this decimal 25 fours are 100 we can write here 100f here decimal after two digits were there 
So right side numbers two digits before we place point. So here it is one point zero zero f minus zero point two five into three. Forget about the decimal. Now multiply the number twenty five into three seventy five. Here zero point is there. So write down zero point seven five. That equals to zero point zero five into ten f. Decimal value multiplied by ten. So here decimal will be shifting one place towards right side. So the answer will be zero point five f minus zero point zero five into nine. Forget about the decimal. Write down the number five into nine. That is forty five. Decimal after two digits were there. So right side numbers two digits before we place the point. So the answer is zero point four five. Next step that implies. 1.00f here plus value on transposing it is minus so minus 0.5f that equals to here minus value on transposing plus value so 0.75 minus 0.45 that implies see here 1.00 minus 0.5 Zero point five. We can write as zero point five zero. Zero minus zero zero. Here zero is there. If we take power, it becomes ten, and this one becomes zero. So ten minus five five. Zero minus zero zero. So the answer zero point five zero. Or we can write here zero point five f. That equals to zero point seven five minus zero point four five. Five minus five zero seven minus four three. Keep decimal zero minus zero zero. So the answer is here zero point three zero. Now f equals to zero point three zero by zero point five. Here zero point five is going to multiply on transposing. It is divided by. Now f equals to zero point three zero by zero point five. Zero point five. Zero point six times it is zero point three zero six five are thirty. Now see here decimal after one digit, decimal after one digit. In the answer, two digits before we have to place the decimal point right on zero. So the answer zero point three zero. Therefore, zero point five, zero point six times zero point three zero. So f value is zero point six. Today we have seen class eight, chapter two, exercise two point five seventh sum to tenth sum. By this we have completed our exercise two point five. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.